take gender equality very seriously in Finland and we regard it as one of the keys to any success we have uh, in uh, our uh, society. For example, we have been rated the least failed state in the world and uh, if asked uh, how come, uh, the first answer is always that it's the full empowerment of women and full gender equality. So we take this very seriously and it is very much embedded in our foreign policy, our development policies, uh, our human rights policies uh, uh, and uh, uh, other policies as well, including security, where we have been uh, very active on the implementation of uh, UN Security Council Resolution 1325 on women uh, and conflict. Well, the states are of course obviously signatories to the international agreements, the international conventions, and we are bound to respect them. Uh, but uh, uh, the problem in many places and countries is that uh, legislation may uh, be in line with these international requirements, but actually implementation is not. So uh, that needs to be also uh, addressed. And in this context, uh, we work very much with uh, NGOs, both at the national level and with inter uh, international civil society. They are important partners for us, uh, and uh, they can play an important role in uh, working uh, and strengthening uh, women's uh, rights and women's empowerment in development policies, but also in uh, transition countries. Uh, for example, we have been supporting some of the women's organizations in North African countries and countries which have been undergoing the so-called Arab Spring. Well, it's uh, obviously a matter for all of these uh, areas mentioned, but uh, uh, as you know, Finland, uh, together with Turkey, has taken the initiative uh, to establish a Friends of Mediation group in the United Nations, and we have uh, passed uh, uh, and promoted uh, uh, already two uh, General Assembly resolutions on mediation. And we are very strongly emphasizing the role of women in mediation. Because if you look at uh, uh, both the composition of delegations to various peace uh, negotiations, you find very, very few women uh, among them. And if you look at mediators, uh, having a woman as a lead mediator is almost exceptional. So uh, I think that we will get uh, uh, better results, we will have smarter decisions and we will have more, uh, more uh, sustainable solutions uh, uh, to conflicts uh, when women are fully involved uh, at all stages of uh, mediation from the, of the conflict cycle from conflict prevention through mediation to implementation of uh, peace treaties. So when we look at, for example, uh, the delegations in uh, the Geneva uh, negotiations on Syria, the uh, almost total absence of women at the table uh, is a good forecast for not really uh, being, uh, thinking that uh, results can be achieved uh, sooner. So increasing women's participation in all of these processes is uh, very uh, important. Well, uh, human rights issues and working for human rights uh, through various uh, ways is to exercising soft power uh, and uh, using the soft power of your own example, of your financial resources, of your cooperation, uh, development and otherwise, uh, and working together with civil society uh, is very much uh, using soft power. Actually, I don't believe that uh, military power or hard power uh, can really uh, further uh, uh, human rights uh, issues uh, in general or women's uh, position in particular.